from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Inside the Mirrors by Jason R. Davis. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Sears is going to do a little more belt tightening, and they're going to close 43 more stores, 35 Kmarts and 8 Sears locations. Couldn't, couldn't they, I don't know, save overhead costs by restocking their shelves with products from Walmart and Amazon.com? President Trump and Russia's leader uh, Vladimir Putin they met face-to-face -face for the first time Friday at the G20 conference, and they talked about a lot of topics, including what each one planned to buy on Amazon Prime Day. Robert Downey Jr. says that he will give up the Iron Man gig if it becomes embarrassing. Well, so far, when depositing his paycheck, he has yet to be embarrassed. We've heard uh, about a lot of really crazy excuses given to try and get out of speeding tickets before, but this might be the all-time dumbest. A driver in Western Australia told police it was the wind's fault after he was caught allegedly doing almost 80 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone in his Holden Rodeo. On the citation shared on the Three Springs Police Twitter account, the officer wrote down the excuse exactly as the driver offered it. The wind was pushing me. You know, honestly, I kind of believe this guy. I mean, the only way a Holden Rodeo is going to get that fast is if it had a cyclone pushing it. Down in Georgia, Dina Everman was trying to sell her home. Well, without her knowledge, an entire family moved in, and now the city says Dina can't kick them out. After discovering the squatters, she assumed that a quick call to the police would clear them out. To her horror, she discovered there is some archaic Georgia law that says if somebody sets up residence in your home, it doesn't matter how they get in there, they have rights until they are legally evicted, which can be a very long process. Tamara Pritchett is living in the home with her fiancé and two kids and say they found it listed for rent on Craigslist. They signed a lease by fax, paid their rent via money order, never saw the ad poster, and only learned there was a problem when Everman called the police. Uh, completely believable, right? Well, since this type of scam is being pulled by vagrants all over the country, and while cities can easily pass laws to make it explicitly illegal, Many just don't want to, as they see it as their voter base pulling one over on the man. Shia LaBeouf has been released from a Georgia jail after posting $7,000 bond on charges of public drunkenness. The 31-year-old actor was arrested at 4 a.m. Saturday by the Savannah Police Department and released. He's in the Savannah area filming his new movie The Peanut Butter Falcon. So he was arrested in Georgia. You know, I believe that was the only state left. A smart home device contacted local authorities of an Albuquerque, New Mexico suburb during an altercation between a man and his girlfriend. A county sheriff's spokesperson says the man reportedly took out a gun and threatened to kill his girlfriend during the dispute. The man said, ''Did you call the sheriffs?'' Well, the device mistook the man's question for a command and alerted authorities. They were able to safely remove the girlfriend and daughter from the home and after an hours-long standoff, they took the man into custody. Thank you, Alexis. Now locate a bail bondsman for me. Jeremy Renner has suffered two fractures to his right arm and to his left wrist. It appeared to have happened when he tried to jump line at the new Spider-Man movie. In an attempt to be more environmentally friendly, Adidas is introducing a running shoe made from vegan-friendly biodegradable materials that will literally melt away when you're done with them. Are you, are, it's bad enough you've got friends that make a big deal and tell the world that, oh, I'm a vegan. Now your shoes are going to be doing that too? The federal government revealed that several U.S. nuclear power plant corporate computers have been hacked by people sending in fake resumes. So as a result, they are now immediately destroying any resume coming from a Mr. Homer Simpson. A Florida woman who stopped to help car accident victims got a surprise when three men involved in the crash carjacked her convertible. Deputies say the car involved in that crash was also reported stolen. So the lesson here, never do anything nice for anybody. Well, either that or don't talk to strangers. Either way. 
Monday of this week, it was the busiest train station in America, New York's Penn Station, that began a two-month repair operation which is expected to cause some major problems for daily commuters. Even the rats have been rerouted. An erratic, speeding driver led an Ohio officer on a brief pursuit. When police got him to pull over, he turned out to be a 10-year-old boy who took his parents' car without permission. The boy drove 11 miles to shop at a convenience store. All right, I can only assume that was the closest place that sold his brand of candy cigarettes. Flights out of New York's JFK airport are being delayed due to migrating turtles on the runway. They keep trying to move the turtles, but when doing so, airport workers keep being assaulted by four of the turtles wearing masks and brandishing ninja weapons. Police in Portland, Maine have captured a large lizard that's been on the loose in a residential neighborhood. Police say the lizard, an Argentina black and white tegu, was living under a shed. An animal control officer was able to capture the reptile in a net by using hard-boiled eggs as bait. They originally tried baiting it with buffalo chicken wings, but that only attracted lounge lizards. You can't see them, for the most part, but the average American home harbors about a hundred types of insects and other creepy crawly critters, according to researchers from North Carolina State University. Specifically, our homes provide harbor for diverse communities of flies, spiders, and mites in nearly all rooms from the kitchen to the bedrooms. So how do these critters get into your house? Well, it's usually by accident, such as catching a ride on cut flowers or just wandering in through an open door, window, or crevice. And they're not made to live indoors, though, so they don't typically live very long once they make it inside. In the meantime, though, I mean, look at the bright side. Even if you're single, you're never alone in the house. NASA says that it has learned the surface of Mars is far more uninhabitable than previously thought. Turns out that the atmosphere is so strong that bacteria are killed within seconds of exposure. On the plus side, no matter how hurt you get on Mars, you don't have to worry about a bacterial infection. A Florida woman was put into the back seat of a police cruiser and she told police it was hot. So why was she in the police cruiser? She left her child unattended in a hot car. Another job well done by Officer Karma. I Can't Believe It's Not Butter is changing its name to I Can't Believe It's So Good For Everything. Apparently, their original name just wasn't lengthy enough. Never miss a single episode of The Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, watch other Marlar House YouTube videos, sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways, purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs, download audiobooks I've narrated, see my latest blog posts, and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the mobile app tab at dailydoseofweirdnews.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!